All right, chapter two summary. In this chapter, you've learned some of the basic skills required for the proper wiring tricks. You need to discover the conductor supplies, the terminal connections, basic iron skill, the lacing, and tying wire bundles, basic requirement that any supplies, terminal connections, so that both mechanically and efficient, electrically strong, the conductor device which is to be used. Insulation, remove the first step of the splicing, the terminating electrical conductor to remove the insulation, preferred stripping the wire with the, the wire stripping tool. The hot blade stripper can be used in insulation materials such as glass, radius, asbestos, alternating method of stripping copper wires with the knife. The knife is required to tool to strip aluminum wire, taking extreme care with the stripping aluminum wire and connecting with the trans will cause them to break easily. Western Union Splice is a simple connection. We know that the Western Union Splice is used to splice, um, splice the small solder connector, can sm solder, so a small so solid conductor together. After splicing is made, any of the wires are clamped down to the prevent damage of the tape insulation. All right, your staggered splice uh, is a multi-conductor cable to prevent joint from forming being bulgy, being bulky. Your right tail splice is the junction box connection. Bright branch circuit the wiring is in place in the conduit is bare wires twice to twist the show of the rat tail. Fixture joints when the conductor is different size to be displaced for the such fixtures of wires the bearing circuit the fixture joints are used. Not a tape joint this type of display for the displaced conductor with the continuous wire is not the conserved but it's just play that this is one proof that they discussed main wire branch wire. Splice insulation rubber tape the insulator type of the splice we'll have discussed so far, the friction tape, the very little insulation valve, the value must be protected with the coating, but the further rubber tape, another type of the insulating type is plastic electrical tape, which is quite expensive. Um, quite expensive. Terminal lugs, you have the electrical wiring, either with the soldering or crimp type, then with the advantage, you have the crimp type with the connection that is required with very little operator skill, whereas the soldering connection is almost completely dependent on the skill that operates. Some of the form of the insulation must be you the non insulating supply the terminal lugs. These types are you the clear plastic with terminal spaghetti, the heating shrink tube, and when the heat gun is you the shrink, the heat shrinking tube, the maximum level the heat is you the 300 degree Fahrenheit. When using compressed air nitrogen heating tool, air nitrogen source can be greater than, and cannot be greater than 200 psi gauge. Alright, this shows the barrel tongue straight the aluminum terminal splices the aluminum terminal splices are not insulated very difficult so you some of the things you can remember when working with aluminum wire are never attempt to clean aluminum wire there's a petroleum abrasive compound with a terminal lug splice that automatically cleans the wire to the the only tools should be you with the terminal crimping operation are the power crimping tools never use a lock washer to um, next to the aluminum terminal lugs as they will gouge out and tend to air with increasing deterioration our pre insulated copper terminal lugs and splices. Most common the method of the terminating the splicing copper wires is you the pre insulated terminal lugs and splices. B aside not having an insulated terminal splice after the crimping operation, another advantage is the type that you give it extra wire insulation support. Some several types of crimping tools can be used in the type of the terminals and the splice of the tools vary with the side of the terminal splice. Pre insulated terminal lugs and splices are color coded to indicate the wire side they are to be used. So the um, insulation, wire insulation, the insulation support, the barrel, the color-coded insulation, the ma manufacturer's mark stripped wire, and the tongue, and the range of the size of the wire is also printed on it. The color-coded insulation and the insulation in the barrel, um, the soldering, the basic skill of the required soldering terminal, splice of the electrical connectors are covered in this area prior to any of the soldering operations. The items to be soldered must be clean. They will be not adhere to the greasy oxide for, for surfaces next time. Next step of the tinning process, the process is accomplished by coating the material with the solder with the bright coat of the solder. The wire is to be soldered. must be 132 inches longer to depth of the solder cup than terminal splice and then connected with the width of the solder to prevent burning with the insulation. It always it allows the wire to flex at the stress point when the tin wire it should be done with a one half of the strip length when the soldering of the connection and taking precaution to prevent movement of the parts of the soldering is cool. A fractured soldering joint will result with the precaution is not necessary. Uh, is not precaution is not taken 60 40 rosin solder core um soldering tools the important difference with the soldering iron the sizes of the net is not the temperature they all produce 50 500 to 600 degree fahrenheit but thermal and air thermal and irritability of soldering tool to maintain satisfactory soldering temperature will give up the heat with the joint of the soldering a well-designed soldering iron self-regulating because of its heat element heating element increase with the rising temperature and ins insulating with the current with the satisfactory level when using soldering gun do not press the switch for periods longer than 30 seconds do not do so will cover the tip of the overheat with the point of incandescent the nuts of the screws retain the tip of the soldering iron guns tend to lose the boot um, because um, the continuous heating and schooling cycle therefore should be tightened periodically you should never use a soldering gun on electronics components such as resistor capacitors or transistors advantage of the resistor resistance soldering iron to the solder of the own wire connector that is soldering tip of the iron only hot during the brief period of the soldering connection all right, so remember, the, the outside, never solder resistors, capacitors, or transistors. Soldering iron. Only soft, 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 soft solder is fusible uh, alloy tin lid. You can then join two or more metal to the temperature below the melting point. The metal solvent action occurs when the copper conductors are solved together. Soldered together takes place within a small amount of the copper combined with the solder to form a new alloy. This joint allows one common metal, the tin lid, oil, a, you the general purpose of the soldering composed 60% tin, 40% lead. 
The flux is used for the soldering process to clean the metal with the removal of the oxide layer on the metal flux to prevent further um, metal to prevent further oxidation during the soldering process. Always use non corrosive non conductive rosin flux when soldering electrical or electronic components. Solvents are used in the soldering process to remove the con contaminants from the surface to be soldered. Soldering aids use the heat shown within soldering heat sensitive components to dissipate the heat through by preventing the damage of the heat sensitive components. Some type of some types of soldering iron holder guard should be used to prevent operating from being burned. Copper gel um sweated 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 into the alligator crib clean soldering iron soldering lugs practice component protected component. One eighth of an inch. Lacing conductors. The purpose of lacing conductors present the near pair of the tube to facilitate tracing of the conductors when alternating the repairs are required. Flat, flat, flat tape of the preferred for lacing instead of round cord. Cord have a tendency to cut in the wire insulation. The amount of the flat tape of the round cord would require the length of the group of the conductors is about two and one half times the length of the longest conductor lance. Lacing shuttle is useful during the pit lacing operation to prevent tape of the cord through the following. The wire should only be twisted prior to lacing it. Lacing, if it is required, such as the filament leads to the electron tube amplifiers. When lacing wires bundled with the coaxial cables, use proper flat tape. Do not tighten bundles too tight and never use a round cord on a coaxial cable. Single lace is started with a square knot. Use at least two marlins. Hitch the double lace is required for the wiring bundle for the one inch or more diameter. It started with a telephone hitch. Cable groups are bound together with the use of the telephone hitch. And uh, spot ties your use of the cable support with the use of more than what, 12 inches apart. Self-clinching cable straps. Self-clinching cable straps are used. They should be installed with a military standard hand tool designed for their use. High temperature areas when used require to tie bundles in high temperature operating areas. Use only high temperature pressure sensitive tape. And that is the summary for chapter number two.